Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we are going to take a look at Soulless Crafting. This has kind of been on my watch list for a little while, and honestly, I've been a little hesitant, and that's for a few kind of reasons here. One, and I'm not going to lie when I say this, the game is freaking ugly, okay? But the premise behind this game is just so uh, unique that I think if we can look past that and that it's an early access and hope we can get some graphical updates in the future, I think this can be incredibly solid. Like the main aspect about this is it's a open world, um, draw distance based RPG. And by that and crafting survival, of course, and by that, I mean, the further you go from the starting location, the more difficult the creatures in the game gets. So by that logic, if you're a kilometer from the house, gets more difficult than say what it is at f at 500 meters if you're 10 kilometers away it's like twice as hard as five kilometers i don't know if it's twice as hard but look without further ado let's uh let's just test this out i did a little play time just to see how it was and uh, the character creation is absolutely terrifying and by that i mean you ready and look at this like look at these randoms <laughs> like some of these remind me of what I would expect to see from like Attack on Titan. And you know what? That's gonna be our guy. That's what we're gonna work with here today. I think we're gonna be great. I think everything's gonna be fine. Hopefully the mic is good too today. <clears throat> I've got a new cable coming in soon. My, my mic's been a little wonky. Okay, so we've got this. Let's accept this. Look how ugly that is. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna just uh, delete this. This is my testy world here. Didn't do much in it. <clears throat> shabby do world. It's just going to be a shabby world. And here's our randomized button. Oh, wow. Look at all these settings, though. You can get, like, levels per kilometer. Oh, so, like, every kilometer you get, everything goes up a level. Okay. Combat settings. XP required to level crafting, harvesting, farming. You can, like, really tweak this, which is pretty nice, honestly. So... Let's just go normal. If you want to play the same game as me, uh, let's make the seed. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it at this. Four, six, eight, three, seven, five. Okay. If you, if you want to try the same thing as me, this is where it'll be. So let's create it and let's load it. Let's go play. So it's going to start us off. It's going to give us like a nice little tutorial. This is just telling us our first steps. One of the main things, do not drag equipment to your hot bars. Equip them in your inventory. Do not fight monsters without weapons and armor. Run if you need to or use the recall, which is a default, which will take us back here, which is like our little starting location. And so let's just follow our little quest line here. So we have... I feel like... Oh, that's loud. Like the ambient noises in the background? Not great. And they're all the way up. Interesting. All right. Oh, well. So, uh, interact with the solid storage to remove 15 stone, which is this thingy here. Storage, uh, withdraw all the stone. Stone, withdraw 15. Okay. So now press tab and craft a stone club under masonry and weapons. So the menus are also ugly. The UI is pretty mundane. It reminds me of like old games from the 90s, right? So... We're going to do, uh, what did it say? Uh, masonry, weapons, right? So crafting, you can do all in all. You'll see a big list or you can really tether it down to masonry, weapons, stone club, craft that. Now, uh, press tab and equip the stone club. Boom, right click. Now we have a stone yeah. club. Yeah. And you can see there's like a little time down, little cooldowns on it. So, so let's go gather eight stone, craft a sludge hammer, and then press tab to equip it. So you can come up to like a rock right here and press F. Wow, that was loud. All right, we're going back into that sound menu. Holy shiznit. Uh, yeah, effects volume going down. Master down a little bit. All right, try that again. Not so bad. All right. So you can sit here and just press F if you want, or you can hit Shift F and you can see what the options are. Again, really ugly. Or you can do Control F, which I like, and it puts you into an automatic harvest mode. And while you're doing that too, you can go into the menu and look at other things as well, which is pretty sleek, honestly. That's what I really liked about the automatic crafting. So I've got the eight here. So let's go and make a stone sludge hammer, this one. Craft. 
equip and it goes into our harvesting tab. So you have a specific harvesting tab and you can see here, your character will automatically use the correct items. So it wants us to level up our quarrying by a level. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And we just got to smash some rocks. Um, if I come here, we can see quarrying. It is already level one. It did level up through that process. So the only bad thing about these tutorials is it's very, it's dynamic. It's not retroactive. So by that, if it tells you to level up, you have to actually level up. It's not hitting level one. So let's go here into our skills tab, harvesting and quarrying. And it wants us to get the strong hit. An empowered hit with a sledgehammer must be used on the hotbar. All strong harvesting skills share a single hotkey and it adds to your harvesting strength. So we'll upgrade that. And we'll put that in our hotbar. Uh, you know, I'll put it on number four. I like it on four. So now if we go to a rock, and press it bang you get more rock and you deal more damage to it so you would overall be blowing it up faster which is at the end of the day pretty nice right so boom that went up by really fast so let's open the map so here's our map here so you can see it's you know it's really big i don't know if like a chunk is like a kilometer or not but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty big. So we started here, and you can see that I don't know what these are, but this is a tower. This is a tower ruins. I'd seen something else, too. Oh, look, a water cave, a fire cave. Oh, lava cave. It got me. Tricked me. An undead dungeons, a coal mine. So there's all sorts of things around, but this is our starter zone here. So we got to, like, play in this area and play nice. Uh, open the journal beautiful so like it's obviously just telling us our quest so we're in the tutorials of course close the journal and now it wants us to gather 10 stocks to craft and equip a pair of simple pants so what i want to do first i'm going to start auto harvesting so i'm not like wasting my efforts here let's make some more tools so the next task is about harvesting fiber so why don't we craft a sickle and then a pickaxe and then a stone hatchet and a stone skinning knife since i have all the stone in the world apparently We'll equip all of those, and we got a full set of lovely crafting equipment. Now, this took me a minute to figure out. Um, the stocks are... I'm trying to see if I can see one here. I'm not... Oh, here we go. Right here. It's this thing sticking out of the ground. It looks kind of like hemp. And look at the world. I told you. It's pretty ugly, huh? Like, it doesn't look great. <laughs> As we could see from our character model, of course. But, like I said, the premise behind this is really good. So I'm really hoping to like kind of, and it's hard for me too, because I'm a very like graphics oriented kind of guy. So it's like, it, they're very near and dear to me. So when, when I say like, I'm going to try hard to uh, not focus on the nitty gritty of it and just like try and enjoy the game, it's going to be hard, but I'm really want to try because I, like I said, I've been watching this for a bit and it sounds really, really fun. All right, let's do some crafting, and we're going to change this from masonry, the tailory, and this over to armor so we can make simple pants. Craft that. Um, armor 0.12. How about a shirt as well? And that's all I got. And you can see here. Now we're not naked, so we got a little bit of armor. So if I look at my defense, my mitigation is 18.79% damage mitigation, which is, you know, bet better than it was right i don't know what it was it's probably like five so now it wants us to place a ford so if we go to the crafting probably masonry facilities uh, i need 50 stone to place a ford so why don't i go out i'll do a little bit of gathering and then we'll rendezvous right back in here together So I found some iron ore right here. So I'm going to mine this because I know, um, you know, oh, my God, a spider. Ooh! No, I'm stuck in the auto move. Oh, he doesn't do a lot of damage. All right, let's fuck him up. Nope, missed. Hold on. Back it up. The combat's wonky. Okay, hit him. He hit me for two. Ooh, I'm poisoned. 
I think I'm poisoned. Yeah, I'm taking damage. No, maybe not. I'm just gonna we're gonna do a, a hit and run tactic. Hit and runs, hit and runs. This is why they say don't fight without weapons. This is probably the weakest thing I've seen in the game besides a like chicken that doesn't fight back. I fought a goblin and it was dealing like 20 damage to me at once and that was only with pants on. I didn't have any other armor at the time in my little test and then I teleported home really fast because I was scared. I don't know what that 39.5 is that I'm seeing. It, oh, maybe that's my damage to him. It's just in a weird spot like that. But you see, I'm I if I sit here, he's going to deal more damage to me because his attack is faster than mine with this stupid wood club. All right, cool. So we killed it so we can see it's a T0 uh, kitten, kitten, chitten, uh, toughness one. So let me hit this so we can see here that it's like harvest chitten. So if I do that, we'll start the harvest. So I can just set this to automatic so we can just get it now. And it's a tough fibrous material. So, I mean, unlike Icarus, this actually, this game, these developers know that uh, arachnids don't have bones. So that's nice to see. So like I was saying, I wanted to hit this iron so we can have a little bit of iron with us. And once I level up this harvesting skill, like that, we can go to skills, go to mining, give it this, and then I can use my power swing to deal a bit more damage here and take that. Now let's do the teleport home. I kind of like the uh, the home teleport. It's really convenient. So if I come back here, let's go back to crafting. Let's make our forge, craft it. And you can also use a practice craft, which yields you what looks like to be 50% more XP, but it does not give you the item. So that's honestly pretty cool. That's a really neat feature I haven't seen in games like this before. So we'll put our forge down. That's pretty ugly, it's hanging off. That's fine. So now it wants us to place a sawing machine. So, uh, crafting, sawing sounds like woodworking. Right there. So we need 20 timber and 10 iron. So if I come over to this, um, okay, put ore and timber in here and then one timber is consumed per stack of ore. Okay, so we gotta go cut down a tree. So we'll do some harvesting here. I wonder if these have other things. Nope, just harvest. Cancel. Not bad. So we'll do a little bit of harvesting for the trees. We'll get some wood for that. Leveled up logging. So with this, whoops, I can do crafting. Nope, sorry, skills. Did we level this up? No, zero points. Logging, take that. Now I can use my big daddy swing. Give it the juice. Bam, tree's gone. Come over here. I don't know why, like... It's like when I'm when you're in that uh, harvest mode, you can't jump. It's kind of goofy. So let's put that in there, refine that, take both of those out of here. Let's come over back in here and go to the sawing station, craft one of those. Um, I'll put the crafting station right here. Okay, little lumber. How about in this corner? We'll put that here. So with this, now we can put lumber in here and, and, re, and press refine. No fuel is required. That's pretty cool. I also like how there's no time in here. Like, there's no crafting time. At least not yet. Like, I just got all the iron immediately. I didn't have to sit here and wait for a thousand bars to smelt. So that's actually a pretty refreshing thing. It lets me enjoy the game and not have to just kind of sit around and bullshit around. You know what I mean? So what's next? Place a smithing station. Let's take a look at this. So that's going to be um, smithing. Smithing station, 20 iron, 10 lumber. So for that, I would need obviously a couple more of those. So what I'll do is we'll speed this up a little bit. We'll go do a little bit of farming for some more uh, lumber and some iron.
Oh, oh shit. Oh no. That thing just did like 10 damage to me. Hold on. There's my weapon. Okay, okay. Circles. Come on. Kite it. Okay, did no damage. Did no damage. All right, this is not the play. This is not the play. Boop, teleport. I'm right next to the house. Is he going to follow me? He's going to follow me. All right, we got to go. We got to go. We can't We can't play around with this. See you later. Goodbye, friend. Hopefully, he just kind of diagros. I see the health bar getting further. All right, we're cool. Everything is fine again. Everything is good in the world, and there's a little bit of iron right here, too, so we'll just sneak in here real quick. So, as you saw, I leveled up my um, strong chop a little bit again. Um, I'm going to use some things to test it. I want to use, see how mining strength does, like how the speed in the mining goes. So, um, I'll throw another point into that one for now, I guess. So, let's head back home, and I'm going to grab three more wood. So, split that out. Give me that. Take this back, uh, put that in here, put that in there, refine, take both of those out. And actually, you know what? Why don't I just do this? Give me 10 of these, split that out and put that in there. What is this? Essence of iron. Yeah, so I found an essence of wood and I guess I have an essence of iron as well. I don't know what these do. So I'm gonna put them in my storage. Storage, deposit. Um, I guess I can only do like certain materials, okay. That's fine, I'll hold those for now. So let's build our smithing station. So crafting, smithing station, craft one. And so it's an anvil and furnace used to shape metal into objects. All right, cool. So it's an anvil. So I'm gonna put it, oh, I could put it like on top, but nah, aesthetics. Let's put it next to it. We'll do it like, can I rotate? Uh, Z and X rotate. I'll put it like that. That looks cute. So, okay, it doesn't actually, like, there's nothing for me to, like, click on. So, it probably just, like, it probably has, like, a radius craft zone, like, if you were playing Rust. So, next, craft a level one plus hammer. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, wait, level plus one hatchet, not hammer. So, crafting. So, tools, hatchet. I can't do it yet. We need more smithing XP. So, let's craft a uh let's, let's craft a a watering can oh there's oh a hoe there's farming hell yeah let's let's craft a pickaxe so let's craft that so we leveled up so let's craft a level one now okay let me do it craft okay cool craft complete craft a minor lock light socket craft unlock and place an enchanting table then use it to craft a socket okay so Okay, so green background, blue background, levels matter. Okay, so I've equipped it. Okay, so level one tool, so we can equip it. So it's obviously going to be based off of our level, I'm guessing, because it did let me equip that. So the strength is two compared to a stone hatchet, which is a strength of 0.6 and a speed of 2.5. So a little slower. No, I think less speed means faster. So I think that's good. I'm going to uh, uh, drop that, I guess. And, oh wait, a pickaxe. No, no, no. Let me let me take that, I'm sorry. I messed up. Iron pickaxe. Let's equip the iron pickaxe. I don't know why it's not letting me put it there. There we go. Iron pickaxe acquired. Drop that. Okay, cool. Now we're fine. And drop that, okay. So now we're, okay. Now we're good. Everything's fine. It's really weird how soft all the background noises are in this game. Like, it's deathly silent. <laughs> unless, like, I'm attacking. So, that it's just weird. All right. Let's um, craft an enchanting table. I don't know what that would be under. So, let's just do everything. And, obviously, change this. Sorry. Wrong way. That way. And facilities... Okay, there's no enchanting table here. Um, unlock, craft, and place an enchanting table. Where? Furniture? These are alphabetical. Yes, these are alphabetical. So, a decorative ingot. Consumables? Nope. Resources? Nope. 
Facilities. Campfire crate. Where are you? All right. This journal is actually pretty helpful. So I just looked at the quest journal for this, and it says I have to unlock it within the masonry tree to craft one and then place it on a structure once you have that interact with it. Okay, so let's do that. So let's close this down. Let's go to our skills, masonry, enchanting table. All right, that was uh, pretty simple. I feel stupid. So let's try this again. Go to the facilities, masonry. Hey, look, an enchanting table. I need 30 stone, BRB. Stone acquired. Uh, back to the crafting, crafting. Uh, come over here to facilities. Ooh. Enchanting. I need a stone cutting station. Okay, okay. It's all adding up here. It's all coming together. Mill house, stone house. So 10 iron, 20 lumber. BRB. Goods acquired. Now we're ready. Now we're cooking with gas here. So stone cutting station. Assortment of tools used to shape and polish stones in the products. Oh, we need a woodworking station. Don't I have that? Nope. I feel like my book skipped something here. Or maybe I skipped something. I don't know. Okay. Woodworking station. We need down here. 20 lumber, 10 iron. It's the same thing. So I'll just double down. Craft that. It's all right. It's okay. We'll, we'll put this, uh, oops, uh, Z. Put it right next to this station here. Beautiful. All right. And I'll come back over here. Let's take, you know, I'll just take 50 of these things. Just make me 50 lumber. Okay. And now we can build our stone cutting station. Let's craft that. No, it's not. It's like the same thing. Why don't I make like a little L-shaped table here? Cool. So now, now, now we build an enchanting table. Ooh, you can get, oh, tier one common stone. I don't have that. All right, cool. Craft. Oh, that looks cool. We can just like put it on top of shit. Let's put it right here. So enchanting table. Minor light. Okay. Um, what does this do? Oh, I'm assuming it's literally like literally minor light. Okay. Uh, Enchant? What did I enchant? Did I just get an item? Oh, I've got this. Oh, it's like a socket item. Okay, so um, spend an enchanting skill point. Okay, let's go here. Crafting skills. I do like how this is works. I don't have any points here. I also don't have any more light, I don't think. We have zero light. That's okay. Let's go to... Let's make a new weapon here. How about that? Why don't we figure out what path we want to go down? I saw here nope general nope hold on adventuring look at all this so we've got apprentice disciple scout and squire so we've got a um you know a fighter we've got a a rogue kind of style here uh these classes it looks like these like tier two classes aren't implemented yet all of them but we can get up to the t the tier uh tier zero tier one let's just say so we can get up to these so we can even go a magic route which like burns enemies or this would be like, you know, a blast of light. But I'm thinking because, you know, we're always survival experts, right? Let's go with the range. So why don't we go with the archer, which means we'll start with the scout and I've got six SP. So why don't I do um quick shot? I don't, why would I level it up? I don't know. Okay, that's done. And I can't do anything more here. So why don't I, that's a bleed, but we're not, melee so why don't i get this dodge okay there's our six points and let's make ourselves a bow so if we go to crafting let's go to weapons we can do a long bow or a short bow so i can have twice the fire speed or twice the damage um i think i want to go with the damage so let's craft that okay that was easy and let's equip that okay that was also easy can I swap? Oh, I can swap between them. That's pretty nice, actually. Let's go fire this bad boy. Let's go Let's go take one of these sneaky boys. To, ooh, there's a cow. I feel like I might be better off in first-person view like this with a bow. Let's find out. 
Yes. Oh, baby. Yeah, we're, we're doing the bow. So we can auto harvest the cow. So we're getting some skinning hides here. We haven't leveled up skinning, so let's uh, let's go to the skills. Let's go to the harvesting. Skinning will get our power attack. Bam, power attack the corpse. <laughs> I, I love the power attack. It's even more hilarious with skinning. It's just like, rip it apart. Rip those udders off this bitch. So we're getting hides out of this. Cool. And we got some raw meat too. Speaking of meat, I'm going to grab this. Okay. That was pretty nice. Let's find a real creature though. Um, what is that? What, what's glowing out there? Well, let's go see what that glowing thing is. Be Ooh, a goblin. Hold on. Uh, this. So let, let's try it without it. Like, look at this. Like, the dot's like behind my head. So that's like... It hit, obviously, but that's super awkward. Ooh, there's a glowing thing over there. We can go to that one. It's closer. Obviously, we lose awareness, so, you know, it's kind of a gamble, but that's okay. That away. But just put it away. So, it doesn't look like I... Oh, there it is. Hard to get these sometimes. Oh, there's nothing in it anyways. Okay. Oh, I was like, what's that purple thing? That's my house. We own it. Let's go see what this glowy shit is. What's this? Frog's tongue. Give it to me. Oh, there's a glowy thing over here, too. Oh, wait. That was the one I saw. Why'd the music get epic? Well, that makes me nervous. What are those? Are those clouds? Those are ugly. I'm very nervous right now. What? What's up with this... Oh, hold on. This is the thing that's on the map. Wait, is that a dude? Is that alive? That Those are alive. What are you? De oh my god, they're definitely alive. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. That one's got more health. He's a bit bigger than the rest. Let's try this in third person. So, a little harder. But, you know, it's manageable. It's not the worst... Again, it's pretty ugly. Let's let's not kid ourselves here. Let's be realistic, but let's be nice. It's ugly, but I actually am enjoying this. It has a different kind of feel now. Obviously, we're just kind of going through the tutorial, and we're gaining light. So obviously, killing creatures gives us light, which is used for enchanting. That was that was actually pretty nice. I did enjoy that actually. So he has some lumber on him. Well, not lumber, timber. Uh, these are like wood creatures an amethyst stamina enchants. There's another dude that let's do this thing. So a tear. It just has some stuff in it. Okay. Shift F lock it. I guess it's mine. This is mine now. I don't know what that means. Maybe that means nothing spawns here. Okay. I missed. I'm not sure why. Hard to tell when you miss, like, why you miss. Let's see, is there arrow drop? Yes, there is. Ooh, that guy is a lot stronger. All right, so we know there's a little arrow drop. That's fine. I'm just going to run back here. I want to get this stock, actually, so we can make a little bit more cloth armor. Or, you know what? We got hides. Maybe I can just use the hides. Kiting King. Oh, <laughs> you can't get this, sucker. <laughs> you get out of here. Get out of here. Get on daddy's level. Got some rocks. What's this? That's just a rock. So what are you? Are you like uncommon rock? So tier zero stone. Let's see. Are there more options? Nope. Let's just harvest then. So, oh, so start harvesting rarities completed. Yep, so these are uncommon stones. Okay, that's actually pretty neat. So we got some uncommon materials. So we can see them glowing in the world at least. So that's helpful for helping us find shit, right? Just want to get over here so I can just kind of look around. I don't see any others, but if you look at my bottom left, like above my health there, you'll see it says 0.32 kilometers. That must be my distance from the starting zone. Oopsies. So that means, you know, things are getting, are leveling up. I got my first achievement, uh, fully harvest an uncommon stone node. Excellent. What's this? Excuse me. What's this tree? A lemon tree? Harvest lemons. Okay. 
that's interesting. <laughs> it's stupid. And then I could switch to this. Oh, they share a cooldown. All right, not switching to that. Die, you silly goblin. You had nothing because you're, you're a chump. You're a chump and you got nothing. All right, so... Ooh, a chicken. Hello. Feathers. All right. Very well. Give me your feathers. So I think... Yeah, I, I'm actually enjoying this. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Obviously, you can tell me it's ugly. It is ugly. I've got the graphics all the way up, by the way. The only thing that's not all the way up is the render distance. I've got the render distance set to like 500 meters or something like that. And like 512 meters. And then the render distance for like trees is like a kilometer. And grass is like another 500 meters or something like that. The render distance in this game is actually a little silly. So I turned it down just so it wasn't too cray cray. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you think and be honest. Uh, let me know what you think about the style of the game. And obviously um, about how the further you get in the game, the more difficult the creatures will become. I think that's one of the more interesting facets that that has intrigued me greatly is that aspect alone. And obviously the harvesting and crafting and all the different materials in this game. So, oh, look. Ooh, a essence of plant. So I got to go back. We got to, I got to do a little bit of like cooking and stuff. A leafy plant that can cause hallucinations. Get the seeds. All right. I can get seeds. I'm just going to dump those for now. Water. I'll drink that. I'll drink to that. So if I equip this minor light, right, to... This has a socket. Socket. Like that. All right. That seems like I have some light. Yeah, you can see the glow. It's not a lot. Obviously, it's minor. But, um, yeah, you can see that there. But, yeah, like I keep saying as I keep uh, getting distracted, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think so far. If you want to see some more of this, let me know. The likes will tell me a lot. The comments will tell me a lot of as well. And uh, we'll definitely keep progressing if this is something that's interesting to everybody. And right now, this is in early access, so keep that in mind as well, too. And the game is also on sale right now. I think it's like 10 or 20% off. It was like 10 bucks USD. Nothing crazy, right? Not, you know, still something worth taking a peek at, it, at the very least. So we're going to do that. Like I said, we're going to... Spirit Tea. What, what is this? I don't know. So, like I said, we're going to keep... I'm going to keep an eye on this. We're going to keep playing this for a little bit. I want to get a little further. I want to enjoy a little bit more of the in-depth game mechanics as well as the combat. I was, the combat's a little weak, so I'm a very curious about the combat. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. But, all right, guys, so I'm going to wrap this one up here. We'll check out what comes next. We'll get some... Uh, maybe some leather armor going. We'll maybe do a little bit more building. And you can actually build towns in this game and recruit NPCs into your town. So there's a lot to do. But, all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Doing up the rest of your day is... Not too shabby.